Fuji Fumbles, today's topic, Solita. Let's get started. So, like, in the beginning of Solita, and you're like, I'm a big fan of Solita, I want to start drawing Solita characters. So you're like, oh yeah, and you realize that the jawline of the character is quite strong in Solita. Bones has a very weird style, and you start drawing Soul's eyes, and you're like, damn, he looks fucking depressed. And you're like, shit, I don't know if I'm drawing him right. And then you put the bags in because he has bags, and you're like, damn, Soul, you alright, fam? But then you put in his eyebrows, and you're like, oh. There he is. He's just fucking pissed. <laughs> because, and then you're like, okay, that, this, this is going well. And then, like, Bones has this thing where they draw their noses like this. And you're like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. And then, like, you literally just do this. And you draw, like, triangles. And you're like, oh, those aren't triangles. Those are triangles. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, and so you put in his bandana, and then there's like a circle on his bandana, and there's also a rectangle, holy shit! There's basic shapes, like any character you would ever draw. And then you're like, oh, two triangles, oh, two triangles again, oh, again. And then you're like, oh, okay, this is actually not that bad. Solid is amazing. And then you, you put in his hair and it's like, oh, it's just three big triangles. Holy shit! I'm amazing at drawing! Anyway, we'll move on to someone else, maybe. Maybe someone a bit more complex. And then, and then you like, Oh, Blackstar. Wow, I wonder how you draw Blackstar. It must be like super hard. Oh, jeez, I would not know where to start with Blackstar. Maybe I'll start with a circle. Oh, uh, maybe I'll start with- Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't that bad. And then, have you ever just looked at Death the Kid and, um... And you're like, oh, okay, well this guy's gotta be tricky, he's got all this weird shit going on in his hair. So like, he's gotta be tricky to draw, right? Okay, so we'll go, so, so you start off with like, your average, uh, shit, and then you're like, Death the Kid has, so you start drawing his hair, and you're like, okay, we got an emo kid over here, okay, okay, yeah, we got, a, okay. And you're looking at it, and you're like, oh jeez, this doesn't look like Death the Kid at all. Okay, I'll try adding his stripes, that should make him look like Death the Kid. Ah, jeez, it still doesn't look like him. What am I missing? Oh. Oh, well, that changes everything. Oh, Shiza Minnelli. I am an amazing artist. Whoa! Dang, Sonny Jim. Also, like, the eyes are really fucked up. But, like, whatever. You know, whatever. We're all learning. Marka! Marka is an interesting one, because she's actually kind of tricky. <laughs> Can you believe it? Um, but Marka has very round eyes, which I am always terrible with. And then she has, like, these weird eyes, the, like, the, 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 they're, like, these really weird, look, fuck, like, like, fucking, what are these? There's, like, two, three lines in the middle of her eyes, and then there's, like, this section here, and you're like, what the fuck, Okubo? And then her hair, like, she's, like, got the usual fringe and everything. And you're like, yeah, I can do that. But then she has her hair pulled back so that she doesn't have a side fringe, and you're like, okay, you weird human being, why the fuck would you ever choose to style your hair like that? But, you know, whatever. But then she has, like, this... She has a really round head, and you're like, ah, oh, jeez, what, what is... What are you? What, what are you? Are you... I, what are you? And then you, like, you try to put on her pigtails, and you're like, I guess it looks like Maka. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not even joking here. I find this genuinely hard. Fucking, this does not look like Maka. Like, it does it. It does it. It really does it. I'm genuinely confused as to how he does it. I mean, every other character I can understand, but not her. This fucking pisses me off because she's Sparky. Jeez. <clears throat> Okay, so, Solid has his style where it's like, the eyes seem to droop in like every character. I don't know if it's just bones, 
but that's just a thing that happens. But Tsubaki is kind of like, I have a Rukiko. Yeah. And 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 then she kind of has like a square thing. And she's got like titties. Um. <laughs> but then you're like, ah oh, shit. Um, how do I do a ponytail? And then you're like, oh no. Yeah, that looks about right. No, she has like this thing where she like, I don't know why they do it, but like she kind of straps her ponytail halfway over her head, and it's like, why would you do that? Is it for style? Is it for fashion? I don't fucking know, bitch. You tell me. Excalibur, I really wouldn't rather do it, but he's pretty easy. Like, it's kind of just like. And then you do his soul of impending doom. His eye of impending doom. Sorry. And and then you like you just Yeah, that's that's um and then you do a hat which is literally just a rectangle and then like another rectangle and and then like he has like a little triangular body with his little hands and he's got like a cane and and then he's got these really weird little rabbit feet. Like what the fuck's up with that? Who designed that? Like, who was like, oh, hey, you know Excalibur, the legendary sword? If he was a thing, like, if he was, like, a living person, what kind of feet would he have? And, and the designer was like, wait, wait, why would you want to know about his fucking feet? And she's like, don't fucking question me. I want to know what fucking feet Excalibur has. And they're like, okay, bro, shit. And, 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 and they just got like, just give a little toes. Give a little rabbit feet. Are you, and it's like, are you really telling me that the most legendary sword of the world is gonna have little rabbit feet? And and Okubo is just like, don't fucking question me, bitch. I'm fucking not sushi Okubo. Liz and Patty. Ugh. You know what gets me about Liz and Patty? It's like, you got Patty, right? I remember looking up how to draw Patty because I was doing something with them. And holy shit, the amount of circles in Patty's design is insane. She, she's literally just a fucking round thing. Like, like, if you draw her, like, like, even her hair, it's like a little four-year-old just came up. Because you don't do spikes with Patty. You, you don't do spiky, like, things. You just do this. And, and then you do it with the fucking thing. And then you do it with the other. And then you do it with this. And this. And you're like, whoa! I did not have to lift my pen a single fucking time! Holy shit! And then you have Liz, <laughs> who is like the opposite, because she she's not flat as a board. Fuck you, that's marker. Anyway, so. Liz is like the complete opposite. She's quite angular. She has these kind of, but she has a few more like, she's like, whatever, like, no, fucking, I don't give a shit about anything. I just want to go and be the voice of Panty from Panty and Stocking right now. And, um, and she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty rad with my titties. I don't fucking know what I'm doing anymore. I just want to, you know, I'm deaf. Um, but, <clears throat> Stein is, yeah, he's like it. He's pretty simple. Like he's kind of just like you just have to give him a massive fucking jaw, and then you don't even have to worry about drawing his eyes because he just has glasses. And then you just fucking do his stupid hair, which is he needs to get that shit cut. Um, like holy shit. And then you're like, oh, wow, this looks a lot like Stein, but I feel like something's missing. Oh, that was... okay. Alright. That, that's pretty rad. Yeah... <laughs> I don't fucking know. Fucking... you want Blair? That's a drawing of Blair. It's pretty accurate to me. 
Like that death? Oh, okay. Well, okay. So, um death is the most complex character, I think, in the entirety of um Soul Leader. Like you you would have to dedicate hours upon hours just drawing him, I reckon, because he's just like I don't know how Atsu Shirogobo could get his comics done in such a timely manner because because death is like one of the most complex character I think I've seen in a manga series, like, ever. Like, I remember just reading it, and I'm like, damn, Atsu Shirogobo, you came out with a new volume today? How did you do it so quickly? Shirigami-sama was such a big part of that ep- Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'll do a better drawing of Blair. So, um... Blair is a witch. She's a witch, I guess. And um she's also a cat. But um you just gotta remember to give her a hat. Like that? That And also you gotta give her tits cat titties. That's Blair. That's Blair. Okay, um, who else is there in Solu? Um, Spirit? Fucking, he's literally got the biggest jaw in the anime. It baffles me. Like, look at that. You could, you could fucking, like, grind meat on that. Look at that. Dang. And, um, and, like, fucking, he's just got some shit hair too like he's like oh i'm cool and hit with the kids i don't need to cut my hair i just fuck bitches all day and and yeah that's the spirit i mean he's also got a cross tie which is like if four kids ever got the rights to soul leader they would cut the shit out of that like remember what they did to fucking uh zacro holy shit they literally copy and pasted her eye it w it was stupid. <sighs> Medusa, you know what's cool about a Medusa, um, the author of Solita Atsushikubo, he um he made it really specific. Like he said, when Medusa is a witch, her hair is full, his uh, her plait is uh plaited to the right, and when she's a human or disguised, her hair is plaited to the left. And he says, see, you can see it right here. And then in the first volume, her hair is plaited to the right when she's human. <laughs> so he fucked up. <laughs> oh, what's the sugar bear? You are so human. I don't know. I, I got nothing wrong with Medusa. I think she's a great character. Other than the fact that she just doesn't fucking die. Like, are you immortal? Do you have the seven Dragon Balls? Did you wish for immortality? Is that what you did? I fucking I'm watching you. I fucking no Oh my god, Krona. Holy shit. Bro, have you seen this kid's hair? <laughs> like, holy shit! It is the stupidest shit. I mean, I think it's quite smart, actually, the way they did Krona. Because you look at it, and it's like, this kid is obviously abused. And then it's really cool, because you can add to that, because his, his slash her hair is cut in some places, but isn't in others. Like, you have these straight cut areas, and then you have these long areas, and it's like, that's fucking genius! Holy shit! Like, have you ever just thought about that? That shows in like two seconds. Like if you looked at that, you were like, damn, that kid has shitty haircut. He must not be taken care of very well. That, you, we didn't even need to hear from Medusa or him or slash she that he is a fucking neglected child who literally lives in a fucking basement with a talking fucking Muppet for his life. And like, and it was like, you could get- this is- this is what I love about stories that are like, show rather than tell. Because showing people is way better than telling people. Because holy fucking shit. That's what we need more of. I'm looking at you, fucking Cartoon Network. Get some better fucking shows. Sid. 
Okay, so Sid is literally like you could literally just use squares. Um or whatever. So so he has this really cool thing where he like has this big ass fucking jaw thing going on. Like, I don't know Like that's that like fucking Bam. That that's that <laughs> Then he has a hole in his forehead. Did you ever think to yourself, like, okay, so Sid got killed, and, um, why? <laughs> Did he literally just die to become a zombie? Like, that's my question. That, fuck, it's, please, somebody answer me. <laughs> like, and, like, so you just need to make him look way old. He, he was killed by a fucking... Power. What was he killed by? The tower. The Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty was like, "Fuck you, Sid. You piece of shit. You want these French rights that I got in my hand? Come get 'em, bitch. Fuck you, Sid. Okay. Well, yeah, that was a rant about Soul Eater. I don't know." what you could have gotten out of it, but hopefully you enjoyed me talking about stupid character design. I'm joking, the character designs are fantastic in Solita, but yeah. Fujifombos!